was that? We horrible phone call. Good man. Talk to where do I go? That's where I bought Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, yeah. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And the those river. tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I well, guess I'll go really check out really. the lucky pawn. If I can't track down the crooked man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop? The cut above? Yeah. It's the place no, on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You gotta understand, I needed work. You're telling me that with a place like this, you're so hard up that you need to work for the crooked man? The guy you're so afraid of? Bullshit. It's not like he runs the counter and hands me the boxes. I never met the guy. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She gets under my skin, you know, I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Well... Am I gonna have to do one of those picks again? Yep. Wait, the Lucky Pawn? I don't remember anything about the Lucky Pawn. I'm just gonna go to the butcher shop. I wanna know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby. Oh, the Lucky Pawn. Alright, There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. Uh, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out what do you mean well maybe you can make this all just go away we would really appreciate it oh, yeah? what do you say can you help us out 
You're asking to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. We just, we know that the crooked man is dangerous to all of Fable Town. I'm gonna do my job. Lucky I'm probably gonna kill him. Might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I'm gonna murder him. I like murdering people in this game. Not the lady. You know what I'm saying? No, not the lady. I might have to go back and do the lucky pawn also. We support NYPD. Huh? Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Who'd want to eat this? Um, they don't. Man, I love Sprite. I mean, lemon lime juice. Huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. I want to guess a whole lot. Right. I don't see these cut anywhere in here. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at Anti Greenleafs. Bigby Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? Um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. I know about the deliveries. The one's going in and out of here. Well, of course there are deliveries. <laughs> we don't raise the cows in here. Beast told me. He said these packages aren't meat. Well, what else would they be? I don't know. Why don't you tell me what was in that package? I... Sheriff, I... Did you hear that? Oh, boy. What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Booker? I just have to go see. I wanna leave. I saw him push a button. I'm leaving. Oh, they got the chips though, homie. Let's go. Is that a pretzel bag? Oh, let me just walk on up in there. Excuse me, pardon me. Button. Shit. Ah, oh, Jesus. I can already tell there's gonna be a fight in here. I'm not allowed to do anything. God, I hate scenes like this. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. 